Hi everyone, welcome back to Momura Closet, episode 16. And so far, all that's happened in episode 15 is the progression of romance between Alice and Reiji. So Reiji gave a one paragraph declaration again about why he likes Alice. And on the other side, we haven't really seen Alice give her reason about why she likes Reiji. But I'm pretty sure it's because, one, Reiji is someone that she can share her hobby with without any troubles. And also, Reiji has made a comfortable environment or a safe environment for Alice to be herself and to be able to enjoy her hobbies. And it's kind of like that Reiji is the only person who sees Alice as a normal person along with the family and Sasuke, as opposed to everyone else who sees Alice as this perfect student all about academics and business. So looking forward, I'm wondering how this will continue, and I'm not sure how far I am until the end of the sweet route for Momura Closet. So let's continue. So while Alice and Meiji were talking about romance and stuff, in the room, Ichika is here, and I wonder if she heard all the talk. So Ichika's like, Uh oh, oops, uh. And Ichika just barges in, and sadly, sadly the door is unlocked. Uh, hmm, so what do you mean? We're sitting bolt upright when Ichika enters my room, and she tilts her head in confusion. It's like, hmm, so what's going on? What's with the surprise? She didn't really... Or she didn't actually see us do anything, but we're making it painfully obvious. Wait, what's going on? So it's like, um, what's with that question? Why are you acting all weird? And I'm pretty sure Ichika picked up on all that. Well, it's Reiji's home, and there's more than just Reiji living there, so he should expect Ichika to come in at any moment, along with Anna and Nayuta. Well, yeah, it's tougher than I expected. While we managed to distract Ichika from the facts, we ended up having to play with her for the rest of the after afternoon. So we had fun, but still, why well, I mean find a place where we can get naughty without being bothered? And I'm pretty sure we know where this is heading. Hmm, so I wonder how other people are able to successfully do this. Well, beats me, but... Isn't that what love bo love hotels are for? Well, I don't know why the curfew has anything to do with the three hours stay because I think it's like three hours max. So they can leave early just for the curfew. So it makes no sense. Um, I wasn't suggesting that we go to one right now. Alice breathes a sigh of relief. It's like, oh, so um, you want us to go right now, but there's not much time left, so... Um... But it would be nice to have a place where we can spend some time together and talk without 
interruptions. Especially from Nayuta and Enna. I'm pretty sure they're wondering what's going on and... Ooh! Well, that's a bad choice. Well, sorry, I don't think I feel at ease there. I prefer somewhere else. Oops, sorry. So it's like, um, yeah, we couldn't talk about otaku stuff over there. Mm, so let me think. Oh, um, maybe I. So maybe Rage has an idea. So we simultaneously turn to look at each other. So what's the idea? It's like, what are... So why did, did both of them come up with? So let's see. Okay, so how about the cafe that Sasuke works at? Okay, so Sakaguchi-san, having finished her shift, impassively listens to our story. Yeah, well, we should be fine talking about anime-related stuff here, right? I wonder if there's a time limit of being here. It's like, well, if you're not going to order anything, then get out so that I can make room for other customers that are going to order something. But still, Sasuke is like, well, I was hoping that nobody from our school would show up here, so if you come here often, then it makes the environment uncomfortable for me. There you go, it's like, a, well, this is a maid cafe. It's for people to be served by maids, not for anything else. Oh really? Well, I don't believe it when you mentioned that you're not going out or anything. Well, I guess... Ah, uh, well, sure, we'll keep it to minimum so we don't bother any of the other customers. But maybe there are other places. So um, Sasuke's like, well, I'm pretty sure there are better places for romance versus here. It's like, well, this is not a very fitting place, and... So, um, like where? So I already did mention love hotels, but for a friend's place, that's probably out of the question. It's like, there's no other friend that they can hang out with. Well, I'm pretty sure Sasuke won't welcome Alice and Reiji. It's like, well, you're kind of bothering me, and I like peace and quiet, and... And we already know that Sasuke isn't really on good terms with Alice, given what happened in the very beginning. And it was just F and L that kind of turned Sasuke around a little bit. And I'm not really sure Sasuke is that interested in otaku, but... Well, that's the problem. Well, yeah, but you see, um... Hmm... 
So maybe they're looking for something that's a little bit more interesting. Or a place where it can be more intimate. Isn't it? Oh ho ho. So one of the other maids shoots at us a glare and Sakahogi Sun quickly corrects her language. Well, not that she's wrong, but it's inappropriate. Okay, so that was a bad place to pick. Well, I guess so. So after we left the cafe and part of ways with, with Sakahugi-san, we had a chat at the nearby park. Hmm. So she didn't seem surprised in the slice about the fact that we're going out, though. Well, I think it was very obvious from Sasuke's point of view, so didn't have to mention it. Well, no way, I don't think it's a problem that she knows, but I wouldn't have gone out of my way to tell her. Then it goes like, a, well, it's obvious, and it was actually quite surprising that it took a long time for us to be officially engaged. Well, maybe. Well, Sakahui san actually told me that she thought we were already going out before. <laughs> well, that makes me happy, of course. Just goes to show how natural we look together. Okay. Okay, so she slides her arms around me. Well, I don't mind, but remember, we're in public. Well, I'm pretty sure there's nobody that's gonna mind about Alice and Reiji being close together at a public place. It's gonna be more like. But at the most, all they're going to say is like, Oh, what a lovely couple! And nothing else. Yeah, you're right. We may not be flaunting our relationship, but it's nothing to be embarrassed about either. There you go. Yeah, that's correct. My heart skips a beat. Her words hit the exact buttons, or like it hits the spot. <laughs> so did it turn you on? Well, yeah. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure if I can stand right now. Hey, but still, they're in public. Ah, uh, so should I let it go? We might not be able to stop if we stay like this. Well, Alice and Reggie can just stop talking about it because all it's going to do is it's just going to make them think about it more and that's going to increase their, I'll say their irresistible desires. So how can you say that with a straight face when well, my girlfriend's in, let's see, incorrigible.
Okay, so I wonder what's going to happen next now. So a few days have passed since then. And in the end, jerking off didn't solve any of my issues. If anything, this back and forth teasing between us feels like some sort of elaborate foreplay. Uh oh. Doesn't sound very promising. I may have to cut out some parts at this point. And the result is. <sighs> So in the end, Alice and Reiji followed the first advice to go to a love hotel. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, on a certain weekday evening, we find ourselves in bed at a love hotel. Well, more specifically, Alice is wearing her frill cosplay and I'm resting my head in her lap while flipping through the brochure. Or the brochure. And I don't really want to go into more details about what this place actually is for. Well, yeah, to be honest, I haven't been hard since even before he came in. Well, yeah, it feels nice. And so comfortable that Reiji has already fallen asleep. Uh, a bath? Oh, come on, that's very discouraging. You're like, already going to sleep, and we may waste our stay here. No, I'm just thinking. So you take off for cosplay then, right? Well, obviously, I'm taking a bath. But still. Well, that's true, but when you're dressed like that in front of me, it's just so tempting. It also worked for our first time, so I'm imprinted like a duckling. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Hi, everyone. So unfortunately, I couldn't play the rest of the Love Hotel event because it was getting too inappropriate, despite it being the non-18 plus version from Steam. So anyways, in summary, the whole event was thought of by Alice, and she pulled Reiji into the Steam Council room to reveal what she wanted to do. And Alice had all this planned out with some advice from Anna, the aunt who works at the Emzu store. So I'm pretty sure Anna gave Alice all this crazy advice that Alice took in for granted. So now that it's all over, let's see what's going to happen next. So Alice is like... So what are they doing now? So Alice currently lying on my bed reading manga. Selene sits up and lets out a contented sigh. It's like, oh. She shows me the cover and... So I think Alice prefers having a new chapter every week versus waiting for the Taco Bon. So basically, a manga with like five chapters. Because it keeps Alice entertained. So you prefer the original manga over the anime then? 
Oh, okay. Hmm, it's crazy. The world of anime is a very good place to be. I like the feeling of the world. Well, usually the advantage of having the anime is, be, is that、um, it's animated, there's action, there's music, there's sound effects. But then they kind of cut corners on it because、um, they try to keep it under budget. So some of the details that the characters have, it gets taken out when it makes it to the anime. But then in manga, they have to try to make it exciting. So they make it all detailed, they try to put in all this graphic elements to make it. Excited to read. Ato, anime was told your jim, but I mean, the Hanayaka, she, Kawaii, so they walk him out in the Kawaii. So, in a sense, anime has its advantage, and manga has its advantage. Demo, Kesako no issue, my show, the four for the Kawaii could. Oh, no, you. So, you don't have a clear, clear preference. Well, I think I'll should just accept both. Like, um, well, Emmy for this, manga for this. So, like I said, I should take both. So, both anime and manga. So what's GM? So GM World, what's GM? Oh, so GM is the manga ka, so the person who's drawing all the manga chapters. Hmm. So I can't say I've ever heard of that term. Well, considering it's Alice. This is probably something she reads online. I just can't keep up with the fandom like that, especially not with things only circulating with certain groups. And it's always good to stay out of these groups because、um, things can get out of hand, there's too much talk, and it kind of feels creepy when you talk to someone that's so devoted to one particular series. <laughs> Because if you disagree with them, they'll argue with you, they'll fight with you, and they'll come up with all this evidence about why their theory is correct. And in my opinion, I think that that's better spent on something else that's more meaningful than manga or anime, given that it's fiction and it will end at some point. What? <laughs> Well, you know, you kind of talk like your mother.、Um, that, huh? Really sounds like something, something that you got from your mother.、Uh, yeah, well, that's one of her quirks. Well, it'll rub off on you if you're not careful. Well, I do like that. It's kind of cute. Well, that's the first time I've been told that. Well, personally, I'm afraid that it makes me sound stupid. So I'm trying to get rid of the habit. <laughs> But I don't think it's all bad, says Alice. Well, never trust a girl when she says something is cute. Oh, really? So, even me? So, your girlfriend? So, you don't trust me still? Uh,、oh, fine. So, I guess that's okay. If that's how you feel about it. But that's why I don't want you to baby, to baby me. <laughs> oh, come on. You are cute, you know? Really? But then again, if you try to force yourself to say it, then the magic is gone, so. It doesn't really 
seem right. Well, you're gonna break my heart with that blunt face of yours. Or that blunt force of yours. So with a laugh, Alice flops down backwards on the bed. She takes a look around my room. It's filled with FL merchandise, though most of it belongs to her. I'm pretty sure at this point, Alice doesn't mind having it all hung up in Reiji's room. Well, nah, well, somehow I doubt he made it all himself, though. And I kind of wonder if the people who made these posters, they just grabbed some screenshot and or actually some manga chapter they colored it in and they just cropped it and give it their own background and just sold it off because I kind of feel like the different posters the character looks more or less the same as you can see here it's just that they're in a different position the size of the poster or the format is different, so you have one that's tall and one that's wide. So I think I was like, well, I think that um that Garrowman person, he did contribute to the episodes in the anime, so it kind of carries that feeling or like that feeling from the manga translates very well to anime. But then it's like, oh, well, I'm pretty sure he is not the one who did everything, given that it's not a one person job. But still, he's the original creator of FNL, so. Hmm. Well, you're certainly pointing, or like you're currently pointing your ass towards him, though. Wait a minute. So I think it's like a well, you know. GM is not too far away, and you're actually facing him. Well, oh no, no, forget that I said anything. Hmm, so now I'm curious, I want to know about this GM person. Well, you said that he lives close to us, so where is he exactly? I want to meet him. Uh, 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 Alice? What, 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 are you getting a bit too close? Well, I know you're hiding something, so... Uh, come on, don't start guilt-tripping me now. Well, I don't think it's that bad for Reiji to hide his information about Geromin to Alice. Or from Alice. So I stare at Alice's face for a moment before making up my mind and nodding. Well, I guess it'll be okay to tell you then. Obviously. Okay, so just give me a moment. Wait a minute. So it looks like Reiji has Geromin's contact information on his smartphone. Well, he, he says it's okay, so now... Okay, so he says it's okay. Now look at this. Alice tilts her head in confusion when I show her my phone. Okay, so let's see what it says on here. So my pen name is Gero Million, it's a pleasure meeting you. And the real name looks like it's Hayakumir. Well, you heard it here first. Uh, 
Wait, so that person is Gil Million? Well, I figured you'd be surprised, but so the truth is that Gil Million is a pen name from Reiji's father. When I told her the truth, Alice clutches her, clutches her head in her hands. Wait, I don't believe it. So give me some time to compose myself together. Sure, I can't imagine how you feel. Zal sits down on the bed, seemingly unsure of where to direct her gaze. And now she falls over. Hmm, well she's fine, send. So I wonder how he knows what's going on with Alice, even though he's not in the room. And I'm pretty sure Reggie does not have the camera turned on. Oh, so Reggie told the dad, oh um, she's facing out. Hey Alice, you okay? She suddenly stands up and throws herself into my arms. So what's wrong? So way too many surprises, way too many revelations, and just so much that Alice can't handle it. Okay, there they there. I'm not sure how I feel about having her clinging to me like this. So why don't you have a drink to relax? Can you stand on your own? I caress her back as I speak, and she quietly nods in response. Okay, so is Alice feeling better now? So holding the bottle of tea I got for her, Alice stares at the latest volume of FNL lying on the table. It's like she's still in a trance. And looking at her, I get the sense that she is still in shock. And I'm starting to feel guilty. So maybe it was better if I kept who Gator Million really is a secret. Um, Alice? Alice? Hello? So Alice is partially recovered. Um, of course, so what do you want to ask me? So by putting this all together, your father wrote FNL, correct? Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. And he was the one who texted you? Yeah, well I thought it'd be easiest or like it'd be the easiest way to tell you. But still, the fact that the person who wrote FNL is Reggie's dad really shocks Alice. And I'm pretty sure it'll shock anyone. Well, I guess I did. I'm trying to find a way to explain when Alice approaches me. Oh, so I'm going out with the descendant of Geromin. Well, can't say I've ever been called that before, but I guess so. So what's the problem? So what's she gonna say? I'm getting a little bit nervous here. So she's so shocked that I've been hiding the fact that my dad is the author of FNL for the entire time. I wouldn't be surprised if she got angry. I have no choice but to accept the consequences. 
Well, I'm sure Alice won't get angry. She said she's surprised about the fact that Reiji is more special than she originally imagined. And given that Reiji's the son of the person who wrote a very popular manga series, I'm sure Reiji is more than just the average Joe that he calls himself or how Al sees him. Wait, so Gem is a guy? Well, yeah, didn't I tell you? He's my dad, so... So why would a guy draw this kind of art? Shouting, she shows the volume of manga in my face. Fro stretching out her hand towards Lace, while the two are falling down amid a storm of flower petals, for whatever reason. Wait a minute, so you tell me that a guy can do all this, make it look all girly and such? This is so strange. Um, yeah, that's right. It's not that unusual for men to draw girls manga, you know? Well, Dad refuses to make public appearances. He never attends or ceremonies either. Many of the people he works with don't even know his gender. Well, that's kind of sad. So when FNL wins some manga award, he sends somebody else to go claim it. And I'm pretty sure the person who regularly claims the award and gives it to the father is a woman. And it kind of gives people all these misinterpretations. And it's kind of interesting that he's able to get all the emotions, all the feelings, all the personalities correct despite being a guy. Well, maybe the father gets some ideas from other people. Well, definitely Nayuta, Anna, and Ichika, so... Well, yeah, sometimes I feel like he's a girl at heart. Like, well, you probably got inside information about FNL, and that's why you know about it very well. I wonder if this is why Ichika's lace costume looks pretty accurate. Oh, um, there's that too, but honestly, she just isn't my type. Well, that's because I like you, so... <laughs> hey, um, stop blushing. You're only feeling my embarrassment. So speaking of your father, I don't see him often. So is it because he's always working and never comes home? Well, I'm pretty sure that's true for... Wait, so is he home now? Um, am I gonna see him? I don't know how I'm gonna react if I do meet him in person. Hold up, hold up. Just relax, Alice. Calm down, nothing bad's gonna happen. No, no, no. But, um, so is that all, Alice? Huh? 
So when you started talking about the biggest issue, I figured you had something else to say. So her expression implies that she's dead serious. Well, you know, I've been keeping the fact that he's my dad a secret from you the whole time. Oh, yeah. Huh? Well, I'm taking it back when she barely reacts to what I said. She walks up to me and peers in my face. I didn't sense any anger from her whatsoever, but for some reason she appears to be trembling. And I wonder why. She's this close to me now, but I still can't tell. It's like, oh, so you know, you're kind of like what I am. So my dad's also famous, he's a diet member, and it kind of puts pressure on you. So it's like, a, well, when you try to keep it a secret from me, you're trying to avoid all the um, attention, the fact that um, you're the son of some person who makes a very popular manga. And it's like, I'm trying to avoid all the embarrassment because I'm pretty sure everyone's like, um, so if he's the son of Geromin, I'm pretty sure Reiji has lots of good talent in his hands as well. He might make some really award-winning, top-class, popular manga once he reaches at that age, or like once he grows up. Yeah, it's like, well, by he keeping a secret, then there's not going to be all this unwanted attention on me. She gives a tight hug. But at least Alice is happy that Reiji openly told Alice about the father. Alice. Okay. Ah, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. If you keep going, then I'm going to... <laughs> but still... Oh, Alice, just come on, like, you don't have to go this far. <laughs> and she nibbles Ray's ear. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Hey, uh, stop that. Alice? Come on, look at me, look at me, or I'm gonna have a bigger bite of your ear. Hey, ah, 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 don't, stop, stop, stop. Like, don't, don't bite. Ah, ah, or like, ow. When I start squirming, I hear something clatter to the floor. Hey, um, something fell. I look at my feet and see a very familiar recorder lying there. So why re why recorder? Okay, so while Alice is trying to take a bite of Reiji's ear, Ichika was looking at them all along. Or all along. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oops. And I'm sure Ichika doesn't understand what's going on. It was dropped by my sister, standing petrified in the doorway. Petrified seeing her brother getting her or his ears nibbed. Icha, wait, 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 we're just... Oh no, mom! Alice is a monster! She's not a werewolf! Help! Save Reiji! Well, I don't think um, it's going to help at this point. So with not much time to spare until Alice's curfew, we hurried towards the station. <sighs> well yeah, it was pretty embarrassing having to explain ourselves to mom. But I'm sure the mom doesn't mind thinking, like, well, it means that they're closer to each other than before. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but still, we ended up having to tell mom and Anna that we're going out because that was the only thing, or that's the only way to justify the fuss. They didn't look too surprised though, so it's obvious that they already know. Obviously, given when Reiji had to clean up the bed sheets by himself. Oh, that was quite even, that was really embarrassing for him. <sighs> but maybe things will get better as time goes on. Well, I kind of wonder, given that Ichika also went with Alice and Anna to help out with the father when he had a deadline to meet. Well, that's right. We just told her that he's an artist who has a studio in the workshop. Well, mom's afraid that it'll crush her dreams if she knew that her dad was the creator of her favorite anime. Well, I'm pretty sure as Ichika grows up, she'll appreciate that. But for now, it's best to leave it under the covers. Well, then again, if, it, if that's what your mom says, then um, I should follow it, no matter what. Well, yeah, it will only confuse her if she were told that it was created by her shut-in dad who scooped up in his studio all year round. Oh, so the studio's right next to their house. Wow. So I wonder why they needed the car in that one episode. Maybe it was when the father had to submit his work to the publisher. Well, when you compare it to your house, though... Well, maybe I should go meet him and meet him for this opportunity. Well, it's fine. You introduce yourself to him versus via mine, right? She nods, but looks decidedly unsatisfied. And Dad's really shy, you know. He never comes out of the studio when we have guests. Ah, uh, well, I can sense the bias in her words. It must be her rose tinted fangirl glasses. But I'm really glad to have gotten this off my chest, though. <laughs> well, so her cheerful giggle makes me fall in love all over again. Well, I'm glad that you're my girlfriend. 
Alice. <laughs> well, I love how you always slip into polite mode when you're embarrassed. Okay, so at least Reiji understands Alice's usual personality. But the longer... So the longer they talk, the more time that they waste. I'm sorry. For a moment, we walk in silence. Thinking back, I realized I said something pretty embarrassing, too. After we walked for a while, listening to nothing but the tapping of our shoes. Huh? So why? Oh, so I just read all the messages before that one that Reiji showed the dad. Hmm. So did I tell you something weird? Uh, well, of what? Alice. Oh, right. She just mentioned that our situations were similar, both having a celebrity father or someone that's famous. Alice must be trying to maintain a good relationship with her father, too, in her own ways. Well, despite Alice being the daughter of a Dite member, I'm sure that there's no way that Alice can be an exact copy of her father. It simply goes with Reiji and everyone else. Oh, Alice. Oh, sorry. So, Reiji's like, um, yeah? Really? Oh, right. Wait, what? So now Reiji's like, oh, wait a minute, so why that? Hmm, so did she just say what I think she just said? And the way that Alice is saying it to Reiji really sounds creepy. You can tell by her eyes. The swirls, the circles. Uh, uh, okay, but give me some space first. I see, but don't forget, you can't break a curfew. And plus, them, it's almost time for you to be back home. Okay. So I think it's like, okay, well, if we can't do it now, maybe next time. But I'll make sure. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, man. Hmm. So this is the power of words. We're not even touching, but a simple utterance excites me more than any kiss. So after all this talk, Alice realized that they've wasted a lot of time. Oh yeah, you're right. We naturally take hold of each other's hands. I'm not superstitious, but I find myself making a wish upon the stars. 
and I wish that we could stay like this for the rest of our lives. Okay, so I wonder what's going on now. So it looks like Reiji is back in the student council room for some reason. So I'm going to leave that to the next episode. And it was quite interesting to see that Alice and Reiji are closer than anyone thought. So Alice has her father being the Diet member, and in equal to that, Reiji's father is the author or creator of a very famous manga or anime, Throne Lace. So Alice can't understand why Reiji is trying to hide the fact that he's the son of a famous author from everyone else. And when Alice mentioned that um, I can't believe Garmillion is a guy, it reminded me of the author for the Harry Potter series. So if you remember J.K. Rowling, no one thought that J.K. Rowling was actually a female author. And she did make her pen name like that because she wanted to hide the fact that um, it was a woman writing that story. And it really worked. But anyways, we'll see how this continues. Given that I think Alice is happy to have Reiji, but she feels that there's still something that's missing. So we'll see what that's all about next time.